The objective within this lesson is to multiply unit fractions by non-unit fractions. Chan had three-fifths of a pan of crispy rice treats. She sent one-third of the treats to school. What fraction of the whole pan did she send to school? This problem is different from the ones we solved the other day in that we have three-fifths of a pan of Rice Krispie Treats. And we're taking one-third of that. We're finding one-third of three-fifths of a pan of treats. If we had one-third of three bananas, we would have, that's just one banana. One-third of any unit is just one of those units. So when we take one-third of three-fifths, we end up getting one-third of three-fifths, which equals one-fifth. Let me show you the area model that matches this equation. We start with three-fifths. And then we take one-third of that. So we end up with one, two, three of fifteen. And when we can reduce three fifteenths to one fifth. She brought one fifth of the pan to school. Chan had three quarters of a pan of crispy rice treats. She sent one third to school. What fraction of the pan did she send to school? We're finding one third of what this time? Right, we're finding one third of three fourths. One third of three fourths, which is the same as one time, which is the same as one third times three fourths. Let's work that out. So we draw three fourths first. Shade that in. And then we're looking at one third of that amount. One third of three fourths. One, two, three out of twelve, it looks like. And then we can reduce to get to one fourth. Jan sent one fourth of a pan to school. Okay, it's your turn to try. Let's multiply one half times four fifths. We have an area model. Look at fifths first, and we look at three fifths, and then we're taking one half of it. That's one, two, three out of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three tenths. One half times three fifths does equal three over ten. And then let's finish drawing the rest of this model, labeling it that is. So one half of th three fifths does equal three tenths. Look over your work and compare it. 
Let's work out another one. One third times six sevenths. Model six sevenths first. And then one third. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out of twenty one, six twenty ones is our answer. Three quarters of Benjamin's garden is planted in vegetables. Carrots are planted in one half of this vegetable section of the garden. How much of Benjamin's garden is planted in carrots? So let's draw an area model where that's one, and then we have three-fourths of the garden that's planted with vegetables. Then we take one-half of this three-fourths so that it's planted in carrots. And then so we get one, two, three out of eight. Working that out, there's our number sentence. Three-eighths of the garden is planted in carrots. Make sure to write out a complete sentence. Three-fourths times one-half. Let's draw, solve this using a rectangular fraction model. Here's three-fourths. And then we take one-half of three-fourths. One half times three fourths is equal to three eighths. Mr. Becker, the gym teacher, uses three fifths of the kickballs in class. Half of the remaining balls are given to students for recess. What fraction of all the kickballs are given to students for recess? Let's draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. Divide my tape diagram into fifths. Three fifths are used in class. And then one half of the remaining would be used in recess. One half of two fifths equals one fifth. One fifth of all the balls are used at recess.